So what is HIV? HIV is a small virus that cannot be seen with the eyes unless it is made to look much bigger under a microscope. HIV is carried in the blood, male and female sex fluids, and the breast milk of an HIV-infected person. The body has tiny police cells, which are also known as CD4 cells. The police cells fight of germs that try to invade the body and cause illness. HIV attacks and kills these police cells. As more and more police cells die, it gets harder for the body to fight off germs that cause other illnesses. This makes it so that a person gets sick more and more often. Eventually, a person with HIV will get very sick, weak, and thin and may die. Once you're infected with HIV, it is carried in your body for life. However, if treated, you can live for many years, have a healthy life, and raise a family. How do you get HIV? HIV can pass through broken skin. This could be from cuts, sores, sharing needles when using drugs, using the same blade during circumcision, or scarification. HIV cannot be passed through normal, unbroken skin on the outside of the body. Saliva, tears, or sweat do not contain HIV. You cannot get HIV by touching, holding hands, kissing, sharing dishes, or the toilet. HIV can pass from an HIV-infected mother to her baby during pregnancy, birth, and breastfeeding. HIV can pass into a person during sex through the penis, the vagina, the anus, and the mouth. Everyone who has ever had sex forms part of a sexual network. Your sexual network is a big picture of yourself, the people you've had sex with, the people they've had sex with, and so on and so on. If any one person in your sexual network has HIV, everyone else in the network runs the risk of being infected. If your sexual network is large, there is a greater risk that the people in the network will spread HIV. If your sexual network is small, there is a smaller risk of HIV spreading. In communities where being faithful to one partner is common, the number of people infected with HIV is much lower. This is because if one person becomes infected, the HIV spreads much more slowly in the group. What sexual behaviors increase the spread of HIV? Behaviors that increase the risk of HIV being passed from one person to another include sex inside a dry vagina with the woman's own natural protective sex fluids removed. Dry sex can cause tiny cuts or tears inside the vagina which make it easier for HIV to get into the body. Anal sex greatly increases the risk of passing on HIV. Anal sex is when someone places his penis into the place where the stool comes out. Other risky behaviors include having sex at a young age. A young girl can have HIV more quickly because her body lets HIV in more easily than when she gets older. Women having sex with men 5 or 10 years older than they are are more likely to get HIV because the older man has often had sex with many women and is more likely to have picked up HIV along the way. Having sex with someone who has pus, blisters, or other sores on the private parts can make the HIV pass faster because HIV can pass more easily through broken skin. Exchanging money, gifts, or favors for sex is dangerous. This often means that one or both partners have many partners in a large sexual network, putting them both at risk for HIV. Getting drunk or using dacha or drugs before having sex may cause people to take risks that they may regret later. How can I prevent the spread of HIV? Use a condom every time you have sex. A condom works by stopping the exchange of sex fluids by forming a protective barrier. Encourage teenagers to wait to have sex until they are older. If you are an HIV-negative man, be circumcised. Removing the extra foreskin results in the toughening of the area under it and makes it harder for HIV to get through the skin to infect the man. If you are pregnant, get tested early. If you have HIV, get advice from the clinic about how to use ARVs to prevent giving HIV to your baby during pregnancy delivery, and breastfeeding. Stick to one partner and expect your partner to stay faithful to you. Having sex with one person and staying committed to them greatly reduces the spread of HIV. Why be tested for HIV? 
Many people who have HIV look completely healthy and may not have any symptoms for the first five years or more of their infection. They can still pass HIV on to others. Being tested is the only way to find out if you have HIV. It is very important to know your HIV status. You should have an HIV test while you are still healthy. Waiting to test once the HIV has already made you sick makes treatment difficult. Who should be tested? Everyone who has ever had sex should be tested. If you're having sex, even with just one person, you should be tested at least once a year. You should also be tested for HIV right away if you're having sex with more than one person. You suspect that the person you're having sex with is having sex with someone else. Or if you're pregnant, so you can protect yourself and your baby. Why is getting tested so important? If you have HIV but don't know it, and do not get tested, or do not get treated, you may only live for about 10 years after getting infected. Most people will suffer from many illnesses. You may even pass HIV onto your loved ones without knowing it. Worst of all, if you die, your children may not have anyone to look after them. If you know you're HIV positive, you can get medicines called ARVs that can help you live much longer and help decrease the spread of HIV to others. How is the HIV test done? The HIV test isn't nearly as scary as many people think. The test is quick, safe and easy. The person doing the HIV test must first give you the opportunity to ask questions and get informed. The test can only happen once you give your permission. The process is quick and simple. Your finger is cleaned and a brand new needle is used to make a small finger prick. The needle is only used once and then thrown away. The rapid HIV blood test only takes minutes to give results, so you soon know your status. If the test is a positive, a second HIV test will be done to double check the results. You can tell anyone what your HIV status is, but the person doing the test may not tell anyone without your permission. What should you do if you are HIV negative? Learn what steps to take to reduce your risk of infection. Abstain from sex or use condoms every time you have sex. People who have recently become infected can sometimes have a negative test. You may need to have your HIV test repeated later. The person doing your HIV test can advise you on when you should be tested next based on your personal risk factors. No matter what, if you are having sex, you should be tested at least once a year. What should you do if you are HIV positive? It is normal to feel shocked or sad, angry or afraid or a mixture of these feelings. It is important to get help from trusted people. Seek advice from your healthcare provider and others you trust as you consider how to share your HIV status with family, friends, and sexual partners. Tell the people that you have had sex with that you are HIV positive so they can be tested too. Abstain from sex or use a condom every time you have sex, even if the other person is also HIV positive. This is to prevent getting other serious diseases through sex. Go to the clinic regularly so your doctor can help you manage the disease. Take all medicines as advised by the doctor, nurse, clinic or hospital. With modern medicines and ARVs, you can live a long, healthy life. You can still work and provide for your loved ones. And best of all, you can live to see your children grow up and have children of their own.